I can admit when I'm wrong. I have no problems admitting when I have made a mistake. And today is one of those days. Welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm very excited that you are here today. I'm a personal stylist and my passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I feel that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of age or size. As a personal stylist, my job is to shop. I love to shop and my job is also to try a lot of different places and make sure that I am staying on top of all of the really best retailers, especially for plus and petite plus women. That's what I'm doing today. I am bringing you a Talbot's try on haul. I have to be perfectly honest about my thoughts on Talbot's. First of all, I used to shop there a long time ago. I actually bought one of probably the best suit I have ever owned in my life was from Talbot's. I felt so powerful. I felt like a million bucks. It fit and draped beautifully. And I used to buy clothes from Talbot's every now and again. I don't know what happened over the years, but I stopped shopping there. And I know I had a lot of you guys requesting that I try Talbot's, that I bring a Talbot's haul. And I would go onto the website and what I found there was a lot of what I call the nondescript print. It, it's a print that repeats that's really not that special. I even featured one of the tops in my Avoid the Frump video. I was pushed recently though to try Talbot again to see if there was anything in there. And it was a challenge for me to see if I could find something that fit my personal style, fit the type of style that I think all of you ladies want to see. And that's a tailored classic elegant style. And I was 100% proven wrong. Talbot's has a lot of really, really beautiful things. And on top of that, they offer a lot of their lineup, like a majority of their lineup is offered in petite plus sizing, which for someone that is constantly having to wear things that fit too long or that are a little bit too big or that are just not fitted for a short body, it's magical to find some place that caters to petite plus sizes where I don't have to worry about shortening a sleeve hem or a pant hem or even a skirt hem. And that I know that everything is going to be scaled for a shorter plus size body. So for those of you ladies who have been requesting Talbots for the last few years, I ask for your forgiveness. I am so sorry that I never gave them a thought or I didn't really give them a chance. And uh, I, like I said, I stand corrected. Talbots has a lot of really beautiful things. So let's go ahead and talk about the few things that I picked up. I will start out by saying that Talbots is a little bit higher up in price point than you normally see here on my channel, but I really, really feel that everyone deserves to buy a few quality pieces for their wardrobe or all if, if that's, you know, what you like. I do have to say that everything at Talbots is very, very well constructed. Even though not all of the fabrics are natural fibers, they're all really very high quality. They're very comfortable to wear, or at least the stuff that I've tried, both when I was wearing Talbots back in the day and now the price point really does speak though to the attention to detail that they give their clothing so i'm going to preface it by stating that everything that you see by the way is going to be linked in the description bar down below as well as pinned to a comment on this video i did mix in some of the things that i have in my own closet because i wanted to take this try on haul a, a, one or two steps further and i wanted to show you how you could incorporate it with things that you might already have in your closet so that's what i did today the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is all been styled a couple, at least a couple of different ways, if not more with things that I already own here in my closet. So, all right, let's go ahead and stop with the jibber jabber. Let's dive in. I'm going to start out with the best at the beginning. The first piece that I'm bringing you is this beautiful, beautiful fit and flare merino wool sweater dress. This sweater dress is so soft first of all if you've been watching my channel for any period of time you know i'm a huge fan of merino wool i think merino wool is probably one of the easiest to wear wools and one of the most beautiful durable wools that regulate temperature and i really fell in love with the cut of this dress 
The fit and the flare is perfection for me. I really liked where the sleeve hit. Um, it does have a little bit of pleating in the sweater fabric and it does have a beautiful swing. It is selling out quickly though. That's why it's important to follow me on the Like to Know It app because I have featured it there first and I put it out on Instagram. This is so good guys, I don't want you to miss out. So make sure that you're following me on LTK because I always post things there first. It takes me a little bit of time to get things up here on YouTube. So if you're following me on LTK, you can get a jump on that. So anyway, this dress is selling out quickly. They have it in two colors. They have it in the burgundy that you see me showing here. They also have it in black. I absolutely love this deep burgundy though. I think that it is such a beautiful color for the fall season. I think that it is just spectacular. It is like mwah, chef's kiss. I'm styling it a few different ways here for you. The first, I'm just showing you the dress basically with my cap toe slingback shoes that I picked up from Amazon and this bag from Aldo also from Amazon. But then I decided to pair it with a blazer that I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit. It's part of this haul. And I really love how the camel plays against the um, burgundy of this dress. And then I've also added my Ralph Lauren pumps. Perfect outfit for work. I love, love, love how it pairs with this tan color. I love playing with that designer inspired bag from Amazon. And it just goes to show you that you can absolutely do a high-low mix. And that's what I really like about investing in quality pieces like I would at Talbot and then mixing it with the lesser expensive things that I have because it all works so well together. You look like that quiet luxury aesthetic and you achieve a really beautiful, very balanced look. I can't say enough good things about this dress, guys. It is a stunner. And if you love sweater dresses like I do, you need to grab this one because it is so soft. It is so beautiful. It is so feminine. It will work at the office. It will work casually. It will work if you have to dress it up, maybe add some gold accessories like a pair of gold shoes or a gold or metallic handbag, um, you know, and some really beautiful jewelry with it. There's just not anything bad that I can say about this dress. I just love the way that it hugs the torso and then kind of just flips out a little bit at the bottom. Perfection if you are an apple body shape like me. I wow, we're getting thunderstorms. That's crazy. That never happens in the Pacific Northwest. The next piece that I have is another really beautiful sweater dress. This one does not have the fit and flare styling, but it does have what they call a Johnny collar. So essentially it's got a polo style, which that look is really trending pretty heavily right now, attributing back to the quiet luxury, old money aesthetic kind of thing really really beautiful dress it's a ribbed knit it is a cotton poly acrylic mix mostly cotton but the poly and acrylic you can't really feel it it's very 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 soft and it just fits and drapes beautifully not quite as beautifully as the merino fit and flare because it is a sheath dress so it does kind of go straight up and down uh, and it's not very bodycon it does have a little bit of looseness to it so there is some movement in the dress but you could easily belt this dress to style it like i did here and i'm pairing it again with the blazer that i'll be talking about here but also you can wear it with a vest there are so many different ways that you could style this type of dress and you could wear it casually you could wear it dressed up for work a birthday party you know anything like that that's the beauty of these types of dresses they are very flexible and they are very, very versatile in how you can style them. And I really, really like this dress. I think that it is so, so, so pretty and looks beautiful paired with tan. It looks really great paired with nude. If you're in the market for a really nice lightweight sweater dress, this is definitely one to try out. These dresses are so good. Both of them are so, so, so good. The next piece that I'm trying for you is one that I didn't want to love, but I do. <laughs> and it is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful burgundy zip up sweater. I love this kind of sweater because again, we're talking about maximum versatility. First of all, the cable knit of the sweater is so 
thick and cushy and cozy. It is such a beautiful, beautiful sweater. It is very, very soft. It's got a really beautiful high collar, but I love the fact that you have that zipper in the front. You can adjust how much or how little you show of your chest. Me, I don't mind zipping it down a bit low because it opens it up. And the fact that you've got that big collar on it really makes for a beautiful, almost like a portrait style collar. And it frames the face beautifully. It comes in more than just a burgundy color, by the way. We have got um, several different colors in this sweater. I love the fact that it isn't a petite plus and I like the fact that the sleeves fit perfectly. The length of the sweater hits at just the right spot. I like that you can use this not just on its own, but you can layer with it. It can either peek out or you can just wear it as a jacket outright. You know, it's kind of like a lightweight sweater jacket for those chilly nights out at a football game. I think that the sweater is really spectacular, very beautiful. Love the fact that the zipper and the hardware is in gold. That's a, such a nice touch. And it just goes to show you the type of quality that you can expect from a place like Talbot's. They really, really do pay attention to detail. And I like the fact that the cable knit is kind of thicker. It's not a thin cable knit, it's an actual thicker cable knit. It just fits so beautifully. And I paired it with a pair of brown slacks because I wanted to demonstrate that this is a really great sweater even for work, especially if you work in some place that does business casual. This is a really nice mix of that business casual because this type of sweater is something that you would think about wearing casually. But if you pair it with a nice pair of trousers, you can actually really balance out a nice smart casual kind of look. And then you can also wear it with jeans. These jeans are from Abercrombie and Fitch. They're the 90 straight jeans in curve love style and i really like it because you can absolutely dress it down and i was wearing a pair of mules but you could also pair this with some sneakers like i said this is a really great sweater to wear not only to the office but out and about when you're running errands doing groceries going off to go watch a football game you could wear it for family gatherings i mean it's just endless possibilities with this kind of sweater. I paired this sweater with a pair of corduroy pants in a beautiful, like a medium toned gray. I mentioned in my Gap haul video that I will have linked down below and up here in the cards, that corduroy is having a bit of a moment. In that light, I decided to pick up these corduroy pants and I have to say, I really, really love them. Again, these are made of a thinner whale and they are very comfortable. They are not a boot cut though. They're actually a straight leg, which I like a little bit better than the ones that I tried on at Gap because the boot cut could be a little bit problematic if you have to have the hem altered. This isn't a plus petite, it's an 18 plus petite and they fit perfectly at the length. I would wear these with my Adidas Sambas. Right here, I'm showing you with a pair of loafer mules and the burgundy sweater. These corduroy pants are so, so, so comfortable. I am so happy that I tried them out. I think that they're really great. They have a lot of different colors, a lot of brights even, if that's more your vibe. They also have a lot of neutrals. Somebody in my Gap video did make a really great suggestion that with corduroy pants, maybe you should consider sizing up one if you want a looser, looser fit. And I would agree with that. You know, if you want that looser fit, if you uh, don't like for the corduroy to cling to your uh, legs quite that much or to your belly, then go up a size. I would consider going up a size in these, I think, and they would still fit beautifully. There would be a little bit more give. They wouldn't be quite as skin tight, but it's the nature of these corduroy straight leg pants, at least the corduroys that I've always bought to fit a little bit closer to the body. But you know, it's all about how you want the clothing to fit you. These are a five pocket style. I like the fact that they come in this beautiful gray. Um, for me, gray is such a wonderful color in the fall. And I really enjoy playing with the color gray. Gray to me is like brown. It's one of those neutrals that looks fantastic with all of these brights. So definitely glad that I picked up the gray, but they have a lot of different colors and they do come in petite plus, so awesome. As you know, I'm always keeping my eye out for work pants for you guys because I know that people are starting to really be pushed to go back to the office and there's this kind of like, 
I think this dressed up feel about going back to the office right now, I think it's because during the pandemic we were in loungewear for so long. And so I picked up these pants here. Even though I picked them up in plus petite, they're still a little bit long. I tried them with a two and a half inch heel and they were dragging a little bit. Then I went ahead and put on my Ralph Lauren pumps that are actually a three inch heel and they were still just a little bit too long. So I would say that with these pants, if you don't wanna have them hemmed and you're five feet tall like me, then you might wanna do a three and a half inch or taller heel. Otherwise, the taller you get, the better they're going to fit as far as length being petite plus. I would say that if you are five foot three, these are gonna be the perfect length on you. What I like about these pants though, is that they're incredibly, incredibly tailored. They look very, very sharp and i love that it gives major ceo vibes you know and i love 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 that i think that that crispness and that beautiful tailored quality that they have is fantastic and allows you to wear these not only at work but also if you wanted to do a dressier like if you wanted to pair it with a black vest oh that would look so beautiful i think that these pants are absolutely worth tailoring because they are really, really good. Stunning pair of pants that are perfect for work or even if you wanted to dress them up a little bit. The last piece that I have for you is one that I have a little bit of regret over and only because I wish that they had had it in my size. They did not have this color or any color actually in the plus petite because they're out of stock. And I can see why. Now this particular blazer is a knit blazer and I really, really like that about it because it moves very easily with you. I picked it up in regular plus size. I felt that it was just a little bit too long. The sleeves fit a little bit long as well and the fit was just a little bit bigger, you could tell. I really do wish that this had come in the plus petite because I feel that this particular blazer is gonna be spectacular in that sizing. So I'm gonna keep my eye out. I may end up getting this because I don't have a blazer in that color. And I have to say that I really, really like the fabric. Now, there is one thing that I would caution against with this particular blazer. And I noticed that taking it on, taking it off, it did lose its shape just slightly at the bottom. So I had to kind of tug on it to make sure that the lining and everything was sitting properly. But I think it might have to do with the fact that the blazer is a little bit big on me. If it had been the perfect size, if it had been the 18 uh, plus petite, then I don't think that that would have been as much of a problem. But I love the fact that this is a knit blazer so that those of you ladies who um, would like to wear blazers but don't really want to be constricted in a blazer, this particular blazer is Ah, chef's kiss because it fits beautifully, it drapes beautifully, it is really, really comfortable to wear. I could easily push the sleeves up, which is something that I struggle with with other blazers that are not made of knit. I just absolutely loved it. I even belted this blazer. I thought that it was so, so nice. So this is definitely one to take a look at if you're interested in getting yourself a blazer. Fingers crossed that they restock. I'm not exactly sure how Talbot's works their restocking. If you know, if you could leave that in the comments, that would be awesome so that you can let us, all of us know um, if Talbot's restocks frequently. And so if I, we can expect to see these coming back before the season is over. I had so much fun shopping at Talbot's for you guys. I'm gonna continue to have fun shopping because I can find some really, really beautiful things at Talbot that will fit the aesthetic that we're going after. That's not gonna be matronly, that's not gonna be um, frumpy or anything like that. You do have to do a little bit of digging at Talbot's, but I'm so pleased with everything that I picked up. I think that it is a fantastic place and I look forward to bringing you more hauls from Talbot's because they're awesome. They're awesome and because they have plus petite. I am I'm beside myself. Why did I wait so long to try Talbots again? I don't know, but here we are. I have found them and I'm gonna continue bringing Talbots to you. I just wanna also say that I am incredibly, incredibly grateful that you watch my channel, that you're here, that you comment. I love chatting with you and I love the fact that I'm able to help you find better style. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of fall hauls so that you can do a little bit more shopping if there are things that you feel that you need for your wardrobe. There's so many good things out there to take a look at. So check those videos out and I hope to see you there. Bye.